Hi everyone, Nick Credicos of Nick Seasonal Decor here, and what I thought I would teach you guys very quickly is how to create a single stem uh, boutonniere that you could wear to any formal event. You could pick up these roses from a convenience store, a supermarket, a grocery store, even gas stations sometimes carry single stem roses, and they typically retail for about $3.99. Uh, sometimes they come as a single stem with nothing with it. Uh, in that case, you could substitute with some artificial greenery, if you're just making it for yourself or for a family or friend. Uh, but some more often than not, what they will have is a single stem of leather leaf fern or a single stem of baby's breath. Uh, so in this case, we were able to acquire a single stem rose with both one stem of baby's breath as well as one stem of leather leaf fern, as you can see here. So I always suggest that you guys pick up your roses at least a day before. You're gonna wanna make sure to do a nice clean cut at the bottom of the stem. That way your rose is absorbing as much water as possible uh, to create your boutonniere. And these are perfect for any formal event, whether it be proms, weddings, uh, a party. Uh, it's always nice to have one of these to dress up a suit or a tux. So what we're gonna start off doing is simply just strip off the foliage. We are gonna cut our rose rather short, so if at all possible, don't be purchasing extra long stemmed roses, simply because you're not gonna be using the stem uh, whatsoever. So just pull off the foliage, and what we're gonna do is simply pull back any of the bad looking uh, flower petals. So if you have any petals that don't look too great, just simply pull them back and pull them off until you got a nice clean rose. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna snip our rose rather short, and we're only gonna leave about half an inch of a stem, just like that. And next what we're gonna do is preferably use a 20 gauge piece of wire. Uh, today what I have with me is a paddle wire, which is actually 22 gauge, but if at all possible, I definitely recommend 20 gauge, which is a little bit thicker. Uh, it does provide a little bit more substance to hold up your rows. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply take our rows and poke the wire stem all the way through it. Just like that, and then pull the two wires until they meet at the bottom. So now we have an artificial stem without that super large bulky stem that also has thorns. So you don't want to be cutting any of your friends or family with these very sharp thorns. Uh, so you definitely get away with doing that because now you don't have any of that sharpness to it. So next what we're going to do is we're going to cut a piece of our leather leaf fern and we're just going to simply snip it off from the back like that and pull off any of the leaves that are kind of lower down on the stem just like that. So now we have a pretty substantial amount of stem that we could place directly behind our boutonniere. So to attach everything, what we're gonna end up using is some floral tape. Uh, I picked this up at Jacobson Floral, a wholesaler in Boston. They come in all sorts of colors. Uh, I typically use the green, but they do come in other colors, like I said. For instance, they have white here if you're trying to go for something a little bit more modern. Uh, but green's always the way to go, in my opinion, because it pretty much masks everything and it doesn't really stand out all that much. So our next step is to begin adding a little bit of our baby's breath. You could add as much as you'd like. You could be adding other textures. Just keep in mind whenever you're designing uh, floral attire, anything that you wear, anything like this is out of water and it will be for the entire event. So you have to pick flowers that do hold up out of water. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend doing it with flowers like tulips or hydrangeas because those don't typically hold up very nicely out of water. Uh, but roses seem to do just fine, and you want to do this just a few hours before the event uh, and refrigerate it, if at all possible. So you can add as much baby's breath or as little baby's breath as you'd like. I'm just tucking it directly underneath the rose, just a little bit. Uh, a little goes a long way. We're not going for anything fancy today. This is just a very basic approach. Uh, you could jazz this up by adding some ribbons, some jewels, uh, some other decorations. But today we're going to just keep it nice and classy. And our next step is to add some floral tape. So floral tape is not sticky when it's just pulled out like this. As you can see, it doesn't stick to my hands. This works by stretching. So when you stretch it around the flower or the stem and pull it working down, uh, it does adhere to itself. So I'm just gonna wrap it generously. And then also I will come back uphill and wrap it once more. just to make sure that everything's secured and nothing is coming apart. Just like that. So now what we can do is we can snip it short. You can make it as short as you'd like. Uh, of course, 
you can make it longer and then curl it up like some people have seen in the past where they kind of add a little decoration at the bottom or you can keep it nice and generic like this. What I always like to do is to make sure that the little bit of ta tape that overhangs closes up uh, to hide any of the stems that are showing as well as the wire and if any of it's still showing what you could always do is come back in with just a little bit more floral tape and cover that up. Just like that. So now we have a very simple boutonniere that you could wear to any formal event. Uh, like I said before, you could curl these up and turn them into a little decoration. It totally depends on what theme you're going for, or what kind of decoration you would like to wear. But whenever I create boutonnieres, which are a little bit more fancy than this, but this is perfect for beginners, I always make sure I provide a couple floral pins for them to attach them to the suit or tux. and provide a box for them. So this is actually my corsage box, but it works perfectly fine for boutonnieres. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Of course, if you haven't liked or subscribed to my channel or followed me on Facebook or Instagram, I highly suggest you do so. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, and if you like this content, please leave a comment in the comment section, and I'd be more than happy to create more videos like this. So until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, everyone.